I want to welcome everyone to the 2018 Nexon Developers Conference and thank you very much for coming. The team has been working really hard to put together a great program over the next few days and we really hope you'll like it. This year we're expecting over 20,000 people to attend from not just Korea, but also from China, Japan, the United States, and Europe. Since the mid-1990s, Korea has led the world in online games. So it makes sense that the number one conference for online game development is here in Pangyo at the Nexon Developers Conference. Over the last two decades, as the games industry has gotten bigger, it's attracted a broader group of media and industry analysts from around the world who often don't make or play games, but who find something interesting or something inspiring to write about in our industry. These people often ask about the next big thing or the next flashy technology. In the past, this has included Facebook games. A couple years ago, it was about virtual reality. Today, it seems that the most popular topic in the United States or in Japan is eSports. To those of us who make games and play them regularly, the words and the pictures that we see about these fads can seem more like fashion advertisements. Words and pictures that don't quite capture why it is that we love games and have de dedicated a large part of our lives to playing them and to making them. And as in fashion, it's easy to worry about getting left behind or to want to focus primarily on beating our competitors. Once a competitor has a game in a certain genre, everyone else has to have a game in the same genre. One competitor has a VR strategy, then everyone else has to have one too. And as a result, we spend more time worrying about the company next to us than we do thinking about the future. So it's easy to think that our business is about chasing the latest trend or fad. It's easy to think that business is about competing with the next guy. And the more we do that, the more we chase somebody else's vision rather than our own. This kind of thinking usually leads to stagnation. It leads to stagnation because we're not thinking enough about the future. Stagnation in creative ideas means stagnation in innovation. And lack of innovation leads to stagnation in growth. So ironically, chasing the latest fad or chasing the company next to you can easily become a recipe for failure. The alternative to all of this, of course, is innovation. That means constantly pushing ourselves for new ideas from outside our competitors' moves or the latest trend. And the great ideas that have caused our industry to move forward have been the results of major innovative leaps. But as everyone in this room knows, innovation is really hard. It requires us to take on risks and to risk failure and to risk the ridicule of the colleagues in our industry. But real innovation is hard for another reason. Deciding, deciding what innovation you will make is a question of values. It requires a developer to think deeply about core principles. It requires us to address fundamental questions about what a game really is. What is fun? What is a truly new and unique experience? What kind of experiences do I want my players to have? But all the great innovations in our industry came from digging deep and asking just these sorts of fundamental questions. These games include Kingdom of the Winds, Lineage, Starcraft, League of Legends, Maple Story, Mario, Minecraft, and many others. It's these games, the innovative ones, that are the enduring successes of our industry. They push the creative bounds of the industry forward in some fundamental way. That's why Nexon introduced Durango two months ago and why we continue to invest a lot on improving it and why we're going to be bringing it to other regions around the world. It's also why we invested in Pixelberry Studios. We think that if the games industry pushes itself to make good games, the whole pie is going to be a lot bigger. Over the last 12 years since, we start, since starting NDC, we've found one of the most important aspects 
is to be about it is inspiration not just to share the techniques and the knowledge but to push ourselves and our friends to innovate and break new creative ground to provide moral support and encouragement it's in this spirit that we welcome you to NDC 2018 thank you again and we hope you have a great few days and now please allow me to introduce the keynote speaker for this year please welcome Dae Hyun Kang Vice President of Nexon Korea.